Blessed love y'all. Welcome in. If you guys are inside here, hit that subscribe, like, share, and let's get straight into it. Let's see what craziness he's going to be doing now. I'm here to see this four ball rifle, yeah? Versus the bank What's vault. Up, so I'm taking it, this is the bank vault. Watching Kentucky Ballistics, and today we have a genuine bank vault door. I got this thing off a of Facebook Marketplace. I'm not really sure how they got it, but now I have it. It weighs 1,500 pounds, and it is called a Lefebvre. So this thing does not work. Uh, I do not know the combination. And as you can see here, when you turn the handle, the bolts do not come out of the door. We got, let's see, what does it say? Yeah, Safe Manufacturers National Association Fire Insulated Vault Door. Right here you have what looks to be an emergency escape. Uh, I guess maybe this was like... That looked like a serious safe door. And, and right. I guess they had a light right here. Most people keep it like 1500 pounds that's a yeah that 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 door ain't you ain't getting into that you know a funny thing with that is when i see a door like that i'm like what happens to the rest of the room because i know the rest of the room is not that secure so we need to find another spot to get into unless we're blowing out that door but let's go <laughs> because it is the most secure place that they can keep it well today we are going to mm -hmm. put that to the test we're going to shoot this bank vault door <coughs> the almighty four bore and some other ridiculous safari rifles and see how it holds up do excuse me i'm recovering off of a serious cold so if i'm you hear my nose stuffy i'm literally bunged up but we shall push through you know normally we would start out with some small calibers and then work our way up to the big stuff but you know what i've been sick for a week and i haven't got to shoot yeah. i'm very excited to get started so we're just going to get to it with the big guys first today yeah, this yeah, yeah. Let's go. This is my MOA 375 H&H Magnum Elephant Pistol. This is the 375 H&H Magnum. That's a 350 grain of Barnes TSX. This guy is also known as the world's strongest manslayer. When Eddie <laughs> Hall came to visit, he shot this thing on his channel and it blew completely out of his hand. Mm. Okay, let's see if I can do any better than Eddie. Here we go. Ooh, the recoil on that looks serious. I just bounced off. Yeah. Just bounced off, man. That recoil looks serious. Look at that. Ha. Didn't blow out of my hand. Give me the title. I'm the world's strongest man now. <laughs> Let's see if your money would have been safe from a 375 H&H Magnum we hit right here. And uh, yeah. it looks like bounced off. That's crazy. You can see all no. of the copper from that round. And let's see if it burrows. Oh, well, looking like it may be a short video today. Uh, yeah, we fuck kind of off. Through the door. Yo, it went through the door. You know, bank vault door already. Uh, I'm here talking about that look like a serious 1,500 pound ah. Man went one hand, handgun, well just wasn't any and any hand, you know, handgun, you know what I'm saying, but still, come on now, come on now. So I didn't <coughs> think the 375 H&H Magnum was just going to blow through that door like that. So let's take a few steps. I mean, they ain't called the, three, the 375 one of the most powerful handguns in the world for nothing, you know what I'm saying? But back still. Real quick, just so you have a little bit of perspective and an idea of just how thick that door is. This is a Glock 17, and this is a. Yeah, but Glock 17 ain't got nothing on the Magnum. Magnum. 
I, I didn't even realize it was a magnum until you just said the 375 and then in my head I'm like yeah well it is the magnum you know like that that that, that goes through walls and comes out the other ends and looking for you you know what I'm saying <laughs> it, 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 it's, so, it's like one step down from the desert eagle but still it's coming looking for you you know magnums don't joke nine mil <laughs> let's take a shot at it and see what it does to the door all right here we go Okay, that definitely oh, okay. ricocheted. We hit right here, and we did not even start to make it into the door. It put a nice yeah. little dent there, but did not get anywhere near starting to penetrate this door. Bro. Yeah, it seemed that was a person, you know bro. Like, put this guy behind the door. Shows you how powerful oh, guns are, you know what I'm saying? People take them for granted, ah. like, they're serious, bro. That way we get an idea. And look at the distance he shot that 375 from, and it went through. All okay, that steel, back to the you big know. stuff. This that was is human my flesh. CZ 550, chambered in 458 lot. This is actually the first safari gun that I ever purchased. <laughs> safari this gun, you know. This is the 458 you know, lot. That is a 500 grain DJ. Them is elephant guns. This is Gee. one heck of a well, step no, up. Well, not elephant guns. I'd say more like H &H. lions. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Yo, that kickback is serious, bro. Recoil on that ain't no joke. Yo, yo, I see the smoke coming out the other end, you know. That went through, man. Come on now. Okay, let's have a look see. That is a pretty big hole. And we've got some, like, I don't know what that is. Some black going on right there. Maybe it kind of sparked a little bit or something. Let's go around the back here. Looks like uh, Predator would have been safe. I wonder if we just kind of hit a soft spot with the 375 H&H. &H. You can see some like white stuff in there and I think that may be yeah. some sort of like fireproof material. So that definitely seems like that may be a weak spot. I'm wondering if where I just shot with the 458 lot is just solid. Because if 375 H&H made it through the door, then so should have 458 lot. So yeah. now we're going to step it up from 458 lot. I'll fire the 375 again, you know. 500 Nitro Express. This rifle is just to make sure, gorgeous. you know what I'm it saying? All these beautiful engravings. On this mm. side we have a Sully. On this side we have Mike Wazowski. On the bottom we have Mr. Waternoose. And on the top lever we have Randall. So this is a 500 nitro, 570 gram. Letting you know the kind of animals that it's meant up. to kill, yeah? Elephant, lion. Okay, here we go. I don't know what you call those, um. Yo. Yo. Let's go check that out. But first, my favorite part. <laughs> All right, we have our giant hole here. And it looks like there's some more of that like fire yeah. resistant stuff in there. I don't know, it's white. I just assume that that's what that is. Let's go around back here, and we did not make it through the door. Yeah, you need to you, you need no, to try and shoot that three seven five again. This area right here <laughs> is a soft spot. Is a very hard okay, spot. spot. But so the three seventy five was soft. Step it up big time. No, this <laughs> is one of the hardest recoiling rifles in the world. This is my A square. 577 Tyrannosaur. It's one of only 24 ever made, and it fires this monstrous round, the 577 T-Rex, that is a 750 grain brass solid. We're about to get a really good idea of just how tough this bank vault door is. Yo, let's Whoa, see. Man. He's All feeling right. it already. Time to ride the lightning. Here let's go. go, let's go. That came out the other end though. That came out the other end though. 
Oh, ain't no joke. This cake so hard. Ha! Ah! Mm. Ah, so it looks like we got a little bit of smoke coming out of our door. I would be smoking too yeah, if bro. I got hit with no a 577 T-Rex. Look at that hole. That is a big hole and you can see all of the like brass markings in there. That went like, through, went through, through. through. Went through the door, went through what was ever inside, went through the other side. It made it through. Oh, it's 100% for sure. Oh, shit. Made it through the door. That is crazy. It ripped through the door. Yo. Okay. You can see that there's another layer of metal right here. Mm, mm, mm. Another layer of steel, and I don't think the 577 T Rex cared. Well, mm -hmm. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with the 577 T-Rex, but I still have a few more things we need to shoot this door with. Literally, every single time I film, those buzzards come around. I'm telling you, they're just waiting for a free meal. <laughs> Anyways, up next, we are gonna step it up to a gun that is a little bit bigger in diameter than the 577 T-Rex. This is my double barrel. 700 Nitro Express. This thing is an absolute behemoth and it shoots this giant round, the 700 Nitro, that is a 1,000 grain bullet. You know, I am dangerously close to 4 million subscribers. If you're not subscribed, you should totally hit that subscribe button. And when I hit 4 million subscribers, uh, Yo, that gun looks serious, bro. Something that gun is not no joke to you, bro. But then I swear, it's, that's rifle. not bigger than the T Rex, is it? Okay, you, you oh. got one called a T-Rex here, yeah? and I'm telling you, like, that, that, that oh, there's different. It's been a while since I shot this thing. Let's do it. I'm feeling that already. Come on. Oh. Ooh. You had good control of the recoil, though. Yo. Yeah, I think it came out the other Man. end. I forgot the 700 Nitro. <laughs> it kicks really hard. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. <coughs> ah. As I mentioned earlier, I've been sick for a week, had a mm. lot of congestion, and I have to say, at this point, it's all loosened up. I've been absorbing a lot of recoil at this point, and I can breathe again. <laughs> and speaking of breathing, we have ventilated this door. Here is another giant hole. That's where we hit with the 700 Nitro. And you can see it is much bigger than the other holes. I can get my whole thumb in that hole. Let's see if we made it through the other side. Oof, we were close. We have one heck of a bulge right there. <laughs> the 700 Nitro is definitely not playing around, but it did not have enough to make it completely through the bank vault door. Seven. You need to put that 375 back in one of those spots. Let's see where it goes. <laughs> well, if my sinuses no. weren't cleared is that the out before, they sure as heck are about to be. This <laughs> is what you've been waiting for this entire video. This is my Christian Firearms single shot falling block four bore rifle. One inch in diameter. This gun weighs over 20 pounds and it shoots a massive one inch, 2,150 grain bullet, 200 pounds of felt recoil. This is the Mac Daddy of all Safari rifles, and we are about to take a shot at that 1,500 pound bank vault door. I'd love to shoot spider. that. Get out of here, spider. <laughs> I'd love to shoot that with my nose off. Congested. Shoulder fired artillery, folks. Okay, it's time to get the snot knocked out of me once again. Yep. I need the oh, snot knocked out of me, bro. Now. Come on. Oh, shit. This is serious, bro. Oh. Oh. 200 pounds of... Re Are you joking? Oh. Oh, that just looks like a beauty. Yeah. I want to see what... Oh, shit. Yo fam, that's like a tank buster compared to the rest, bruv. <laughs> oh, 
Holy shit. I don't think it'll come out that at the end because it's kind of big. Kicked so hard. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, but I'm going to hey, take the day right off. There. I'll be like, ow. Um, that's what I call a hole. That is a big hole. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. That's Yo. nuts. Jeez. Yo. I mean, like, a thumb is nothing in there. I can get, like, three fingers in there. Okie dokie. The moment of truth. Did it go through? <laughs> I'm only going to say that I think it probably okay. did Okay. You know, I'm sure we all thought the same. <laughs> Let's because go. it's such a big, slow-moving round. But it delivers a lot of force and uh, it leaves a really big bulge. It looks like it almost made it through. You look right there. It is splitting right there. Mm. So it was super close. Golly. Ah! <laughs> so I just reviewed the slow-mo footage. And I have to say, even though the foreboard did not make it all the way through the door, I'm still most impressed with it. It produced so much energy that mm. it caused this door to jiggle like a bunch of jello. The mm. shock wave that went through this thing is absolutely insane. The foreboard has a special place in my heart. I'm sure right yeah. now several of you are screaming at your screens wondering why I have not used the 416 Rigby. This is my CZ550 chambered in 416 Rigby. I absolutely love this caliber and now we're going to find out if it will make it through. The yeah, I think it will though. Well, the go. door's already weakened, but still, I think Rigby. it will though. Then a bullet. No, I, yep, yep, it went through. You know it, what? It went through. Let's give it one more, just for good measure. Yeah, it went through. Yeah. See how that busted out that back end? Yep, definitely went through. You this see the smoke. It's such a monster. Wow. Mm. Okay, the smoke still. Smoke or dust coming out. Smoke out. dust, yeah, still coming up, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see here. I hit right here, and we hit right here. <laughs> yep. <coughs> Not surprised. We made it through both times. Look at the Blue hole out the back, bro. Sheesh. 416 Honey Badger <laughs> never lets me down. So now I want to try out one more thing on this bank vault door. This is a 12 gauge shotgun, and I have some 12 gauge door breaching rounds. Mm. Okie dokie, here we From go. that distance. Raw, from that distance too, yo, yo, yo. Don't, don't fuck around with a shotgun, bro. Oh, shit. This guy, this guy's aim's not too bad, bro. Like, look at that. Bro. He got it down. Okay. <laughs> let's go check that out. Okie dokie. Let's take a look at these. We hit here, here, and down here. Yeah. As you can Ricochet see, it off. It didn't go through. Really it didn't anything. go off. To this door it did loosen up our little <laughs> nameplate here mm -hmm. the lay flabier is no i near. thought it went through you know at least the first layer but yeah Show you how heavy this damn safe is. Safe door is. Also, be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistic Shorts, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and X. 
Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you want to pick up a shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's smash this. Let's smash this out. much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. And I'll see you next time. Hey, you know something? That Jeep is quite tough, you know? SUV or whatever. I mean, I thought it was going to go right through. Like, if you're in that car and you're lying down on the seat or you might have a chance, you know what I'm saying? So, that's a quite tough SUV.